6.33 here on your Thursday. This morning, investigators are trying to determine why a 19-year-old opened fire in a South Florida high school, killing 17 people. Nicholas Cruz is expected in court today. CBS 2 Susanna Song is here with what we know about the suspected shooter and the terrifying chaos inside the school. Hi, Susanna. Hey, good morning, Aaron and Marissa. 17 dead, 15 others injured and still hospitalized. Authorities say just three months ago, the alleged shooter's adoptive mother died. He had also been expelled from the high school for disciplinary reasons. Here he is about an hour ago arriving at the Broward County Jail. He was brought here straight from the hospital. Cruz is now charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. Instagram photos show Nicholas Cruz holding a gun in front of his face. Here he is brandishing long knives with his face covered. Last night, investigators searched the home where he stayed. A lawyer representing the family that lives there says Cruz was not related to them. His mother had died back in November of this last year, and this family took him in. And uh, they offered the, the home and, and uh, tried to help the kid out because he really didn't have any other place to stay. Nothing that they saw in this kid would give them any reason to believe that anything like this was possible. Moments earlier, police say Cruz walked into the Florida high school, pulled the fire alarm, waited for the hallways to flood with students, and opened fire with a semi-automatic weapon. Nobody knew where it came from. As you know, there could be echoes left and right, and it was really hard to identify it. So everyone just wanted to know where he was. Were you safe? Is your friend safe? And it was chaos out there. Cruz was captured off campus a little more than an hour after the deadly rampage began. This photo shows him wearing a burgundy ROTC shirt. One teacher said the school had trained for this type of situation. Students even said when they heard gunfire, they assumed it was an active shooting drill. We did everything that we were supposed to do. Bower County Schools has prepared us for this situation and still, you know, to have so many casualties. We're going to pull through this together as a community. Well, one student told CBS News she spoke to the gunman as he walked out with the evacuating students but had no idea it was him. That was a chilling realization. Authorities, Merce and Aaron, will continue to dissect his social media accounts to figure out why this exactly happened. I think they'll find a lot of information there, Susanna. Thank you.